Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to remove those stubborn, hard to remove antivirus programs off of your computer. Whether you use a Windows computer or Macintosh computer, smartphone or tablet, third party pro antivirus programs can cause a little bit of headache. In today's digital world, you're probably wondering why would I want to remove antivirus software off my computer? Well, there are several things that have happened recently to kind of make you want to think about using third, by, or third party antivirus programs. For example, the recent CrowdStrike snafu took over computers, or not really took over. Best word for that would be took down computers across the globe. Also recently, a vast antivirus was uh, charged with and found guilty of scanning computers and taking the personal information that they got off those computers and selling that information to other parties. Don't necessarily want that going. Also, there is the no more selling or the non-selling of Kaspersky antivirus from the government. So there's many reasons why you might not want to use third party programs. Now in most instances, it's easy to remove antivirus software off of your smart devices and your computer. Windows users can go to control panel and remove that pesky program. Macintosh users can go into applications and just simply drag the antivirus program to the trash can. Both Android and Apple users can just click on an app, drag it to the trash can, or on an iPhone, pull down the app that you want to remove, and once you get the wiggles, that's the best word I can use for it, then you can delete the app that you want off of your device. But sometimes antivirus software can be pesky and hard to remove, and antivirus manufacturers know this, which is why they have utilities that you can use to remove your favorite virus program off your computer. So it doesn't matter if you're trying to remove a trial version of an antivirus program and you want to put another program on, or maybe you're just done with third party antivirus programs and want to use your built-in utilities and your personal firewall to keep you safe. Cybercrime is a human problem, which means your best protection is to avoid phishing schemes and links in text messages and in email. But moving forward, let's take a look and see what utilities you can use if you have a pesky, unremovable antivirus software on your computer. So first we want to take a look at a vast antivirus, the one that got busted selling information. So you can go or what to do when a vast won't let you uninstall for Windows. So as you can see, you've got a whole website dedicated for removing those pesky antivirus programs. So let's take a look at Avast first. So Avast has its own website at avast.com or you can just type in the Avast removal tool. In fact, for many of these programs, you can just type in your favorite antivirus program and type in removal tool. Trust me, for the most popular ones on the net, on the internet and around the world, there is a removal tool. So anyway, the utility that you want to download is Avast Clear. It will go in and it will bypass the Avast uninstaller setup. So again, if you're having problems trying to remove Avast off your computer and you cannot do it the traditional, or for, ah, I can't believe I goofed that up. The traditional way, <laughs> you can go in and remove Avast using a removal tool. It'll clean up all instances of Avast and make your computer virus antivirus clear. Now our next program is going to be AVG. Now a few years ago AVG was the popular tool to use. It was my favorite F word which is free and it seemed to do a pretty decent job as far as keeping your computer safe from pesky viruses. Now Vast was the same way. Free program that seemed to work but after a while these manufacturers decided that they wanted to change it into 
spyware and malware constantly throwing up alerts saying that you need more protection. So if you're still having ABG on your computer, there is a program called ABG Clear. Again, you can go to ABG Removal Tool and it will bring you to a link that will take you to ABG Clear. And you can download the Remover, remover Tool for ABG Antivirus and it will make sure that your computer is completely safe from ABG and all instances. Doesn't matter if it's the pro or the free, removal tool will remove it all. Next on our list is Avira Antivirus. So you can run Avira, oh, the support collector on Windows. Avira was popular, ain't popular so much anymore, but it uh, will give you an idea where the Avira collector can help you find ways to get the antivirus software off of your computer. Now, Vira doesn't have a removal tool, but at the same time, you can definitely run the support collector and it'll give you information to help you get in contact with the people that make a Vira and help you get that off of your computer. Next on our list is Bitdefender. Bitdefender, believe it or not, every instance of Bitdefender, they have a tool that you can use to remove it off of your devices. So you've got Bitdefender, Antivirus Plus, Internet Security, and then the Total Security. And then even if you have older versions of Bitdefender, you can go look for the uninstall tool to remove your particular version. Now we'll note that a lot of antivirus software, just one removal tool will remove it all. Bitdefender is the only one that you need a different uninstall tool for every version. So it doesn't matter which version you have. My goodness, it'll go back to 2016, actually 2015. There's even a removal tool for Mac, but there you have it. The tool is pretty extensive and it will remove all instances of Bitdefender off of your computer. Now, why do they have so many? I don't know. I think every year Bitdefender changes to a new copy of its antivirus software. Now, what about ESET? ESET antivirus is popular in most recent years. You can actually download the ESET uh, removal tool off of your computer. You go, they've even got a video where you can do it, or, and you have to pay attention to this, you've got Macs, Linux, Android users who have, um, that have ESET antivirus, and there is, well, you can download the latest version, so you really have to be careful of looking at the ESET site because sometimes they will have you install it when you really mean to uninstall it. But there's a removal tool that will take off ESET antivirus off. Again, with many of these product products, you can just go to control panel or applications or just simply delete the app off of your smart device. But again, sometimes it gets wonky and you will have to run the removal tool in order to get these programs off of your computer. Next on our list is Uncle Kaspersky. Kaspersky antivirus. If you have it on your computer and you want to get rid of it because of its supposed Russian ties, uh, you can download the Kaspersky removal tool, which is called KAV removal tool. Again, you can always look up these removal tools for your antivirus software by going to Uncle Google and just typing in the name of your program and removal tool. It'll bring you to the correct URL to help remove that. So you can download the product. Then also too, it'll tell you which applications can be removed with Kaspersky, how you can remove it. The instructions are pretty clear, not only for Kaspersky, but just for about um, every antivirus program out there. And as you can see from that quick glance, there's a Macintosh version of Kaspersky that you can use too. Now moving on, let's talk about McAfee. Now McAfee's got a removal tool and as you can see, uh, they keep these up to date. Um, you want to go in and uh, first try the standard removal all the time, but if you can't use it, then you can use what's called the McAfee Consumer Removal Tool or MCPR and it gives you instructions and gives you a link where you can download this program 
and get McAfee off of your computer. Again, a lot of these programs take up a lot of resources of your computer and they are deeply entrenched in your computer's operating system and your smartphone's operation or operating system too. So there you have it. Next on our list is Trend Micro. Trend Micro has a removal tool. Uh, tells you here how to remove it. Uh, you can uninstall the program with the support tool from Trend Micro and it'll take it off of your computer. I will say Trend Micro is one of those programs that's deeply rooted into an operating system. I know many instances Trend Micro will make you put a password on your antivirus software so that if a virus try to remove it, it won't let you do it. But the removal tool, password or not, it will allow you to remove Trend Micro with no problem. Got a couple of more left on our list. Here we go. Nope. There we go. So here, let's, we got an ad on one of them. Can you believe this? You'll love this. So if we go to our screen, we got an ad for AVG, which is crazy, for Viper antivirus. So Viper has been around for a while and it's not commonly used here in the States because it's made over in the UK. But you can download Viper from the antivirus, the Viper antivirus uninstall utility. Now you kind of have to be careful on sites like TechSpot because there is a removal utility or uninstall utility, but sometimes sites like this will not take you to the actual site. But there's a removal tool. You can go to Viper's website and download this utility to get Viper off of your computer. Now last but not least, probably one of the best removal tools for antivirus software is Norton. Norton has a removal tool because it entrenches itself into your operating system like bad bad. So anyway, um, you can go to support.norton.com or do a Google search for the Norton Remove and Uninstall tool, but it will remove any version of Norton, uh, antivirus, Norton, whatever, off of your computer. Again, it, it buries itself deep into the operating system, but it's probably one of the best removal tools that you can use on your computer. So there you have it. So if you have comments or questions about removing antivirus software off your computer, leave in a comment selection or a section below. One of the things I want you to remind you too is just because you remove antivirus software off of your computer doesn't mean that your subscription will end. You probably should do the following if uninstalling antivirus software the traditional way or through the removal tool is to first call the manufacturer of the antivirus that you want to take off your device. Make sure by calling tech support or by logging online with your antivirus account to verify that you have auto renew off. True story. There are customers that I've encountered when doing stuff for Integral that are paying or have paid for antivirus software over an extended period of time and not have the software installed on their computer. So always make sure that you are unsubscribed from automatic renewal and ensure that you um, aren't getting charged for software you're no longer using. So the purpose of every video that I make is to make sure that I open people up to a whole new world of ideas and experiences with the tech devices they use at home and at work. So I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So hold on for a second, but take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching. Hold on for a second. Let's cue up that outro video. Now hopefully we'll get this going. Let's see if we can get this going. There we go. Have fun, everyone.